Hey Podkids, the Malibag is back. This is our first Malibag in a really long time, but I'm doing it solo style. Uh, I'm going to answer a Podkids question about how to develop good work ethic and professionalism, lalo na pag tinatamad ako on most days. So yeah, here it is. Wake up with Jim and Sab is exclusively on Spotify. If you want to start your own podcast, check out anchor.fm. And if you want to be notified when we have new episodes, click the follow button on Spotify. If I slow down. Welcome to Wake Up Jim Sab Podcast. Oh. I'm soloing. I'm solo. This is a solo pod. Why? Because malapit na mag Christmas break. And because we love our pod kids so much, we want to make sure na there are regular episodes kahit we're on a Christmas break. Like our fa- we're we ha- we're gonna have a lot of family time, company time um, the next few weeks, and we want to stay responsible as pod parents. Um, so yeah, so even though solo pods, so I hope these these are helping. Um, let us know. Share a story. Share the pod. Let us know. Um, yeah. So yun. Um, plus, it's really been crazy because you know, the thievery that happened here. So pretty much, Sab and I are constantly um, basically trying to juggle everything. So yeah, thanks for staying patient, pod kids. And uh, I hope you know how much we love you guys. And um yeah, so what I'm going to talk about in this episode is work ethic. I got a malibag actually. I I haven't, we haven't done a malibag in a really, really long time. And um, this one actually was specifically addressed to me. So that's why I'm going to answer it. Okay. So here we go. Hi, Pod Dad. Paano ba mabuild ang good work ethic? Feeling ko kasi wala ako nun. Nasabi ko yan kasi like today, I requested for an SL. And yesterday then, I'm aware na maraming kailangan gawin sa opisina. But I still took a leave. Wala naman akong sakit talaga or anything but I'm not in the right headspace to work. I feel na tinatamad ako and would rather sleep in. I would usually do this siguro mga one to two, one to two times a month. Mga one day leave lang kasi I, I don't feel like going to work. Yung mga leave ko na yun, dumating na sa point na iniisip ng boss ko na nag apply na ako sa ibang kumpanya. But I just take those leaves to take a break, a breather. Dami kong iniisip na thoughts. Tamad ba ako? Kasi ayaw akong mag-work. Wala ba akong disiplina? Wala ba akong strong work ethic? Am I overwhelmed? Okay naman ang mga boss at kasama ko. Do I get anxious over not doing things ng maayos? Kasi I don't feel like I'm at my 100%. Am I depressed? Hindi ko rin alam. Kapag nasa work naman ako, I try my best to do my job during work hours and be present. Ah, I feel so guilty not working, but at the same time, I don't want to look at my phone and check work. Then I get anxious because I don't look at my phone. I also feel guilty kapag tinatanong anong sakit ko when wala naman talaga. So nagmumukha lang na nagdadal, da, na, nagdadahilan lang ako. Not sure if I'll get fired kasi tamad lang talaga ako pero I am ready for a ah shock sorry I auto changed it not sure if I'll get flaked by us tama ba? kasi tama lang talaga ako tamad lang talaga ako oh my god where's up but I'm ready for a true friend's advice thank you so so much pod parents I would also like to mention that Sky Blue Sky has been my go-to song when I feel sad oh that's so nice thanks for introducing Wilco A okay game a, number one, before I try to, you know, go deep into this, I have to commend you. Um, as an employer and as a former disgruntled employee, um, I completely understand human nature and our need for certain breaks. Okay? We were not meant to live our lives being defined by our work. Okay? Um, So, if you need to take a break, if you need to take a leave one to two times a month, that's not bad. Now, I would actually question the employer who has a problem with that. Okay? Um, Now, but I'll get... I'll, 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 I'll... 
I'll get into more specifics later, but I guess I just wanted to say like um you know, to start things off. You're doing great. The mere fact that you are actually asking these questions that these things are concerning to you. That really means so much because at least you care. At least you want to get better. At least you know there's that that awareness and that sense of responsibility knowing na okay i i have it i have the i have these certain set of responsibilities i i committed to this job uh how come i'm not 100% and the, i always say this eh? like even let's say i have a friend who's feeling down or um you know i want to remind them that the mere fact that there is awareness that's the first step malaking bagay na yun um that in itself actually should give you some sense of comfort okay so okay here i guess after reading this you know i know na right now with especially post pandemic everything became so much faster like yung need for balance between work and 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 your personal life has been completely blurred and because that's the case you know um i want to focus on building a, a strong work ethic that would actually make you happy okay this isn't just um so that you can impress your boss or climb the corporate ladder or improve as an entrepreneur but there is a sense of fulfillment so everything I, the tips that i will share here will will always keep in mind that that is the most important thing because a miserable person will never or can't sustain a strong work ethic or a level of professionalism because if you're sad if you hate yourself you hate what you do well it's not you're not there for the long term case in point i think that i've always had a good strong work ethic okay i've always had a sense of responsibility to a point that i'm so anxious all the time you know becomes a it has become a problem because i'm just always like you know very there's there's a lot of self guilt anxiety and you know and i've always had that whether it was my first job whether it was um being a fresh grad um trying to balance between being a musician and trying to have a 9 to 5 to now an entrepreneur i feel like i've always had that same level of okay awareness and responsibility but but Want more fun stuff outside our podcast? Come join our Podjon community. You'll get access to exclusive content such as live coaching sessions, hangouts via Zoom, live podcast recordings, exclusive discounts, spontaneous live streams and more. Focus with me on our co-working sessions at Discord and let's be productive together. Looking for career advice or fun recipes or do you just want to join in on our jamming sessions with Pancho and Vito. <laughs> You are while. Talagang literally nagjajamming kami ni Pancho and Vito. We, 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 we stream it live. Anyway, subscribe to jimandsab.com for just $5 and you'll get access to all of these. We also have a monthly live coaching session like we said via Zoom where I talk to pod kids and give them advice. Yes, qualified life coach yarn. And the best thing about this whole thing is 100% of our monthly proceeds go to our chosen beneficiaries in partnership with Cerebral Palsy Epilepsy Family Awareness and Support Group PH. They are our heroes of the month, the children with special needs and their families. Uh, and this cause is especially close to our hearts because, well, you know why. So your subscription really means a lot to us. We hope to see you on our next Angout. Nag-enjoy ka na, nakatulong ka pa. Yay. Love you, thank you. Thank you. I feel like I've always had that same level of Okay, awareness and responsibility. But but I think that the professionalism and excellence in my work output happened when I was happy. When I loved something for some reason, no matter how stressful the situation would get, I would still stick to my core values 
And um, that level of professionalism would come out even in the most dire situations. So with that said, uh, my first tip I think would be set clear goals and priorities. Okay? Because a good work ethic starts with knowing what you're working towards. You know, and, and a good exercise is actually knowing your short-term and your long-term goals, both in terms of work and in your personal life. Okay, so I would suggest like having a blank piece of paper and writing down all the goals or all your dreams and all the things that you're aiming to achieve, okay? And then break them down into manage manageable steps, okay? And then from there, create a to-do list, okay? And then start prioritizing the tasks. And, and then you focus on completing one task at a time. Wh wh why do I... Um, why is this important? Okay. Because most of the time where people get it wrong is that they spend more than the required time at work. For example, uh, let's say spend 10 hours at the office or online at work. Right, and you do, you go over and beyond. You work for fifteen hours, right? And then for some reason, nasabun ka pa rin. or there's something that causes so much anxiety pa rin before you sleep. Okay, and most of the time it's because you focused on the wrong thing. And this is what I always tell our team. Um, I always say na. My goal or your goal should be to go home feeling like, oh my God, I achieved so much today. Because if you still go home feeling like, shit, um, sobrang arag pa rin, ko pa ang I think that that's one area that you could improve. Starting your day, establishing what are the goals and then what are my tasks for my boss or for work, whatever. And then really prioritizing, organizing them. And I think I've mentioned this in the pod before. Na all this information that we get, they're just a bunch of pieces of paper, a bunch of garbage being placed on our desk. And if you're never going to sort them, magiging kalat. Therefore, kalat yung utak mo. Okay? So, walang point na marami kang to-do list, meron kang apps, meron kang pang-capture, pero hindi mo ino-organize, hindi mo hinihimay. Hindi mo alam kung anong dapat ang talagang kailangan mong tutuhan. Because once you do that, then your time would be more... The, sorry, then mas magiging sulit yung time mo. Basically. Y you would, you know, like, okay, you know that, okay, this, is, uh, this email is the killer. Okay, obviously. And sometimes a guide question that I ask or I have my employees ask is which of these things if I do would make the company shut down? <laughs> or um, I ask that myself like which of these things na, ano, would I lose the most money on? Or would hurt the most people for example parang if I don't do this? And then I prioritize according to that. And once you do that then therefore I think um even if you're having a shitty day, even if you're feeling lethargic and medyo wala kang gana, if clear sa'yo ano yung goals mo uh, for the month, for the week, for the day, it would be easier to compartmentalize. Because if, if, let's say, you write down a hundred things and you identify that there's only one thing in that hundred item list, that would be catastrophic if you fail to do it then you could just focus on that one thing and say, okay, I'm willing to take the bullet and miss out on the 99 other things on this list. And I'm ready to face, let's say, my boss or my team and say like, yo, I've, I messed up the 99 other stuff, but I did number one. And then, okay, when I say, okay, I say compartmentalize because after that, okay, now I'll take a break. I'll do this one thing. I have no energy. I The only energy I have is for this one thing. And I'll make sure that one thing is crucial. Because most of the time, what happens is, 
people say, oh my God, I'm feeling so shitty. I'll just do this. I'll send this stupid email. And then you feel worse because later that day or tomorrow or the next week, mayro kang matinding sabit. Right? Um, so yeah. So it's it's about managing your energy and managing your output. Um, I guess number two would be consistency and accountability. Um, I I would uh, suggest, you know, Sab is really a big um, fan of time blocking, uh, getting apps like Pomodoro. And see, Sab actually has this group. Um, well, you can join JiminSab.com. We have focus sessions there. Um, basically, um, I think for me, consistency is always tied with measuring and progress because that's the one thing that will keep you quote unquote playing the game okay so for example uh, you say at the start of the week okay at the start of the week my first fifth the first 10 minutes so, so I'll share something na hindi naman work um but it requires focus and stuff I really wanted to learn how to meditate okay so when I started so we go the first week I will just do one minute. Because prior to that, when I did try, let's say five minute meditation, even that I couldn't, I couldn't do. And then therefore, it wouldn't take me another year before trying it again. But when I said to myself, I probably can do this for a minute. Week one, one minute. And then I would put it on my notes app. Week two, one minute thirty. Week three. Until now, I can do ten minutes. You know, so... Um, I think consistency, um, I know there are a lot of tools, but I would suggest that if you want to, you know, you want to develop that level of responsibility and consistency, you have to measure your progress because yun yung pinaka inspirational um, and that would keep you going. And then I think lastly would be, uh, I think continuous learning and learning how to be adaptable. One of the things that I always share with the Linya Linya team actually is having a, a desire for continuous learning, for lifelong learning. Because that level of curiosity, if you bring it with you, it's so helpful during challenging times. In times of stress. And I really wish. And the funny thing is, I never had this. You know, like in school. Like, the, again, I said, I, I'm highly anxious. And, and that stems from a lot of things. You can listen to Wake Up Less Anxious with Jim. Uh, the solo pod. But anyway. Um, in college, let's say, knowing that I'm going to fail this exam for sure. Babagsak ako. No chance. Or let's say when we were studying, there's this one subject, impossible. Uh, I think it was calculus or something. This was in college. Now again, sorry, I walang contribution yun in my life right now. And I knew from that very time. <laughs> And we were learning about it. I was like, I'm never going to use this. So therefore, I can't learn it. I couldn't learn it. I didn't enjoy it. I didn't want to learn it. So what is my point? My point is, I wish that during that time, I had that need or at that mindset of wanting a, 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 a lifelong learning. Because if I was curious enough, at least I would go through let's say challenging things and with with an with an inquisitive mind it would move me forward you know as opposed to getting allowing me to get stuck because for me if you're if you're curious about something that's why nga, ano eh, i'm doing this on the fly so kung sobrang sama ng um ano ba tawag dito ang kung, kung itong comparison nito kung sobrang sama i apologize but it's like adam and eve ay fuck mali pangit pala yung consequence nun. it's like uh, anything diba parang 
it keeps you moving forward. Let's say Alice in Wonderland or whatever. Like, there's that level of in, uh, curiosity. I know it gets you into trouble, pero ang point ko is, it makes you move forward. Again, I'm doing this on the fly. Kung wale, I'm sorry. But anyway, um, I, I I hope you get what I mean. Na, let's say at work, you're struggling. Um, you know, let's say there's this task. Let's say you suddenly get into financials or you suddenly, your boss wants you to delegate more or your boss wants you to learn how to communicate more effectively. You hate presentations, but your boss wants you to improve there. If you have that need for lifelong learning and you see the challenge as, oh my God, okay, shit, this is really hard, but paano kaya magagawa to? This is pretty cool. Like if I can, you know, if I can find a way, parang, paano nga ba ginagawa na to? And then therefore, you would actually look up like, oh, what does, uh, what did Steve Jobs do? What did, um, you know, whoever, like, what did uh, Brene Brown do to become a confident speaker? Then it will not just help you with your professional life. It'll help you with your life, you know? And um, just having that, that type of mindset is a forward thinking mindset. And that's what you need to actually excel and to become, to have that level of professionalism. Yeah. So to A, I hope uh, this helped. Um, and uh, to all the Malibag senders, we are sorry for the backlog. Babawi kami, promise. Um, yeah, so hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, see you soon, pod kids. Bye. We back on Meta. We back. Join the new official group for after pod Quintuhans at bit.ly slash podkids after party. Also, we always love hearing what you guys think. So share your stories and tag us on Instagram at wake up with Jim and Sab, at Jim Bakaro, and at Sab Magalona.